Hey guys, so I promised that I would do supplies. Um, show y'all the supplies. So I will. That's this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope you like this video. Okay, I'll start with this top drawer. This just has um under here. It's like information and stuff about pets and all these notebooks that I put stuff in them. And down here. There's marker all of this because this used to have like markers and markers and crayons and stuff in it. And so this thing right here, it's like a filing thing. This goes to a super pet kebab thing. And these are rosin from Ken Satin Music because I used to play the well, I kind of still play the violin. And then here's some decorative pins and paper and stuff. And so this just have a, has um, that 50 page thing I made on Ferris before I got him. Actually, it was 100, sorry. So yeah, um, it's kind of hard to push in, so I'll go to the next door now. Okay guys, so this door has um, just like some old t-shirts, um, some hammocks, some cuddle cups, some... Um, um, all of his bedding and stuff in here. Not all of it, obviously. This hammock right here, this cat one, is Lacey's. But I put it in her cage, and she tried to escape with it. And it was messing up the top of her cage. So I took it off. So, yeah, it's just in here. I should probably take these off and use it for something else. That's a good idea. I didn't think about that. So, um, most of his bedding sets that fits all of these designs are in here. And so, yeah. This isn't all of his stuff, obviously. He has a ton more, but this is just a drawer full of his stuff. And the hammocks that you've been seeing in previous videos are in here as well. So, I'll just get to the last drawer on the three drawer whatever you want to call this okay so this drawer is really punchy filled with colors so um i will get to what's in this drawer okay so this drawer is um mostly edible stuff and some toys so i'll go through that now so we just have these two toys that rascal likes and these two he doesn't play with these much. He likes, um, um, I'll show you the toy that he likes, um, in this video, but in a few minutes. So, I'll just get back to the other things in the drawer. Okay, guys, so here is Lacey's food. Um, this isn't the diet that she's on. It's just some food that we got, um, because... My mom didn't get paid and she was out of food, so we had to go and get just a small bag. So, yeah. It mostly has seeds in it, which she doesn't really like, but yeah. This is what is in her food bowl now, just because I didn't want to really, like, waste the bag. So, yeah. This is the diet that she's on. As you can see, it's for gerbils, hamsters, mice, and rats. So, I'll just get to the other stuff that's in the drawer. Okay, I have his nail tripper, clippers, sorry, and so they're just red, as you can see, and they're in a bag because I didn't want it to cut anything, um, it possibly could cut a hole in a bag, and it could draw ants, so yeah, it's just safest to keep it in a baggie, so these are Rascal's nail clippers, and I just have this green food dish that um it's just a green food dish you can use for hamsters rascal tips it over so i can't really use it for him i got his um his big one that's ceramic and it has a floral print on it if you'd like to see that you can go um i'll show you on this video so yeah okay so here are some of his hammocks i made this one for the fourth of july which he did not end up going with us because i did not want him to get hurt and this one doesn't fit him and the, the strap is broke. And this one is just a little kitty one. It's just a little harness. And this one's pretty flimsy. Um, and it's for a little girl. I was going to be adopting another little ferret. But um, that um, didn't really work out. So, yeah. I also have another little ball. That was my first ferret. These two little... 
um, stuffed carrots, um, this little mouse, and I have this little uh, spoon that goes with the hamster food, and then I have this little weird looking little dish thing. And then this bag, I have a toothbrush for him, his Q-tips, and some Vaseline. You shouldn't give them Vaseline often. You should give them, um, I forgot, but I'll tell y'all when I remember it. So, yeah. Um, but this is kind of hard on this system, so you should only use this in, if, if, like, if they're, like, choking on it. I mean, you should take them to the vet if they're choking on it, but. Um, if you're out or something, you definitely should use it because they do need something right away if they have a hairball, but if it turns into something major, you need to take them to the vet. Then I have the Ecotrician Breakfast Cinnamon Rolls um, for rabbits, guinea pigs, and hamsters. Um, I'm not sure if gerbils, mice, and rats can have this, but I'm sure they can because it's just a little treat so yeah that's this i got this at petco for around 5.99 um so yeah and i'm sorry i didn't do the prices on the other things um most of that stuff i made except for the food and the food was um 8.99 and the uh, nail clippers you can get them at the dollar tree besides getting them at petco for like ten dollars which is pretty ridiculous and the food bowl came with one of Lacey's cages so yeah i'll go to some other treats here is some Marshall's Ferret Lax, and if you have this, it needs to go in the garbage. Yeah, if you have this, it just needs to go in the garbage because it's filled with sugar and a whole ton of really bad junk, and it's, it's really disgusting, and it doesn't smell too good. So if you have this, you just need to either throw it away or throw it away. <laughs> Because um, this is horrible for your ferret. And it does not work at all. You should never give this to your ferret. I got this because it was 50 cents. And I wanted to show y'all what it looked like. For you not to feed them. And after this video I'm probably just going to throw it away. So yeah. Here's some sunflower seeds that you can give to your hamster. when You, you, have, you have to clean them first because they do have a little. Um, I don't know it's just weird. So make sure you clean these before you give them to your hamster. And I just tie them up so then they don't get bad or anything. And you can also spread these around your hamster's cage because some hamsters like these. And if you have a hamster that does like these, you can spread them around the cage. And that's their natural thing is to go and find food around their cage, which is what they would do in the wild. So you can do that and that would help them and they would really love to um, kind of explore and find the food that they want just like in the wild. This is also a horrible ferret treat. Um, ferrets hate these anyways and Marshalls. You should never feed anything that's Marshalls because most of their stuff is horrible. Marshalls ferret food, all that stuff is horrible and um, Marshalls is just really horrible. So. Um, these are another one that is filled with sugar and you shouldn't give to them. Um, so, I got this to show you guys. So, this is what it looks like. Um, all of the bandit treats um, by Marshalls, you should never feed them. I also have this little heart um, toy that Rascal enjoys playing with. And these Festa Healthy Topping Papaya Treats for... Bunnies, gerbils, guinea pigs, rats, mice, and they're in the bottom. So this is just what they look like. They're little pieces of fruit. Um, so these are pretty good for them. I mean, they're a treat just like someone that ate apples every single day instead of a pie would be healthier. But every once in a while, it's not bad for them. If you have these treats, you also need to throw these in the trash can because these are not good for your ferret anyways. Um, either of these, um, it's kind of like feeding a teaspoon of sugar every single, um, however often you give them these. So, these are from, um, Marshalls as well. So, you should really not feed these because they're horrible for them. And they're just not good for them. Anything, pretty much anything store-bought 
from pet store is going to be bad for them. So do not buy these. And if you have them, throw them away because it's for your ferret's health. And ferrets need like high um, protein stuff. So um, they can't eat just like junk like this. They have to have like a high protein diet. I am switching Rascal's diet. I just haven't really found one yet. And I don't want to waste that bag. So that what I feed him is honestly a horrible food. But um, it's what he was on. And I am switching him. Because it, that's what he was on when um, we adopted him. So that's just what he's on as of right now and I'll probably order either some Y song or something a lot really good for them that's all natural you know no fruits no vegetables no corn no syrup no um, artificial flavors no byproducts stuff like that I had these treats given to me and if you have these these need to go in the trash show because they are like foamy they're not very good for them and they um, are not very good for your ferret. So yeah, and they are by this brand, so don't buy these either. Ferrets are not just a pet that you can just go and buy this kind of crappy stuff for them. So if you have these, throw these in the trash as well. <laughs> okay, in here is um, the treats that Rascal came with, or that came with Rascal. They don't, they, they aren't this disgusting in person. They look disgusting on the camera it's just because they have this like crumbs that fell off of them it looks like bugs ew but it doesn't actually look like that in person these are the wild harvest fair treats um and you can give these um like once a month probably would not hurt them I haven't done much research on this specific one. That's the only one. That's pretty much the only one that I haven't really researched about. But I don't really give him this treat anyways. And it's by Wild Harvest, which isn't really a good one because they make hamsters and gerbils food, which they put, you know, like fruits and veggies and stuff in there. So I would not feed these. Um, you should get one of the high protein ones. Um, I will do a what a haul when I get all the correct stuff for Rascal. Hey buddy! Don't look, I'm gonna go through that. Rascal! Oh, and his ramp covers are washing and the rest of his hammock, so yeah. And, um, so yeah, that's these. And I just kept them in a Tupperware container because I did not want, um, the bag was about to pop or it did pop and there was holes in it so I didn't want it to draw anymore or I didn't want it to draw ants or bugs or anything like that here's a gourmet cat food by kennel club but it has byproducts in it so if you have this you need to throw it away as well um so here's just it has chicken byproduct it has corn it has gluten yeah, so it's just really, really, really not a good, um, not a good food. So this is junk, which you can get at the dollar store, which you shouldn't. Um, my mom bought this for our cat before. Well, it was like for a treat, but we didn't really, I don't know. I looked at it, she wouldn't really look at it, so I looked at it and I told her that it wasn't really good, so we got it for Rascal because, um... Well, we didn't get it for Rascal. I just put it in his drawer, and I haven't got to throw it away yet because, um, yeah, I just haven't had time to throw it away. So I'm going to go throw this away along with the other crap, literally. So, um, yeah. Another good idea would be to keep all the receipts and everything where you buy all the stuff because if they break, you know, it's animals, so you need to take that back and get something else or exchange it so you have the water bottle holder 
And right here is just this little thing that you can put on the cage. And over here is fabric and Lacey's little tube and a little sweeper, which you will need. And it makes everything easy. You will also need some paper towels or toilet paper or something. And his litter scoop, which you probably don't want to see. <laughs> and then this, um, I cleaned it out really, really good. It doesn't have any of those chemicals or anything, and it's just water. And um, here is a little perch for chinchillas. Here is a, another little log. Here's some wood cleaner that I don't know why it's under here and it's empty because I used it on my wood furniture. And here's a fair shine sheen two-in-one shampoo, which you shouldn't bathe them too often because if you do, it'll dry out their um, fur and it'll strip their oils, which will make it go into overdrive and produce a lot of oils, which makes them stink. And you have to give them like an oatmeal bath and everything, and it's 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 a lot of work. So you really don't want to bathe them too often. Maybe once a month, max. And then so over here in this little crayon coloring box thing. Hold on, let me open it. I'll do a tutorial on how to make these, and they're just these little things that you can make out of toilet paper ro roll tube things and um they're good to use even rascal you can put like high treats in them and even rascal enjoyed um taking them out and so did lacy and then right here is just another hammock that i need to wash and then here is some katie clean and cozy bedding it's just the bag so i know which one to get next time <clears throat> And then I have the big tube that goes with the other two that was on sale for half price. It was $5. And then I have this stick thing. And then I have this little thing that went to her other cage. But it's just like a little hut that she um, sleeps in sometimes. There's a trash bag. And here's some leftover stuff from some other bedding sets. I have to make um, ramp covers to match them. And then I have some um, Glade air freshener that's empty. You should, ow, you should never spray it on the cage. You want to spray it in the air, not on top of their cage or anything, not towards their cage. And this is the diet that he's on right now. But he is being switched because this is junk. This is junk. This is junk. This is going in the garbage when I order his new food when it gets in. Um, so yeah, this is some more supplies, and then I will go to up top. So I told you guys that I would show you his, um, bowl. So this is his bowl. It's ceramic, and it's got little paw prints on it. Hey, Rascal. Rascal. Hey, buddy. And he does have a double unit ferret nation cage. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so right here I just have this dog's book, and then here is the toy I was going to tell you guys about. He loves everything inflatable, so he loves dragging this under the couch. And then right here is just some bedding or some fleece and stuff. <clears throat> and then this is a little house that has some bags and stuff in it. And um, it just has this little toy right here. He scratches in it, so I don't put it in his cage often. And then here is this big fluffy blanket that I got from the thrift store for a dollar that you need to wash all thrift store blankets before using them. And then I have the, his carrier and then a hamster carrier. So, yeah, that's not all the supplies. There's more in a box because we're moving two doors down because I live in an apartment. So um, it's in a box right now. And so all of his stuff is in the washing machine right now. But I'll do a quick overview for you. And then here is his little um, pirate ship hammock and his robe. And then here's his uh, Eeyore. And then I love, love this about his cage. I put this on here from its a little sticker from my baby shower. And it's too cute. I love it. And then here is a little piggy and um, his little... Um, name tag going here and then this little pumpkin 
He is getting block on Crocs. He's going to get four, two for the top and two for the bottom pretty soon. <clears throat> and he does every day get a bowl full of water when he's outside. Some days he doesn't get play time, unfortunately, because um, I'm just really busy. And I know that's so mean. But um, he gets extra the next day. And that only happens, like, once in a blue moon. So here's his two water bottles for right now. And then when he gets out which I'm fixing to let him go play. And here's a hammock that um, I haven't made the pad for yet because I don't know if I have any more of this bedding. So it broke, like the whole bottom fell out of this hammock, but I, um, re I fixed it, so he's happy about that. He was asleep in it earlier. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment. <laughs> I'm sorry for this video, it's so long. But, um, yeah, I hope that you learned something from this video. And if you would like to see more of Rascal, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.